Hi friends, this is Sarvajan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good. And today let us understand and configure the GRE. GRE is a generic routing encapsulation. So which is used to encapsulate IP in another IP. That means one protocol into another protocol. So both can be IP or both can be an Apple talk and another IP protocol. So both the ways we can do. So what happens is at the transmitting end it will perform the encapsulation and at the receiving end it will do a decapsulation. So whenever I am passing these two private networks, main office and the branch office or both the private networks. So whenever I am connecting private network over a public network, we can use GRE. So advantage is it can encapsulate multiple types of traffic like unicast and also it can encapsulate multicast traffic. And only the disadvantage is there is no encryption. So whenever I am passing this private network over this ISP or a public network, there is no encryption performed. So still if I want to encrypt these tunnels, I can use IPsec. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of GRE tunnel. So it is nothing but a, at the transmitting end, transmitting end, it will perform the encapsulation. At the receiving end, it will decapsulate the packet and it will pass the original packet to the branch office. So that is a purpose of GRE tunnel. So it is nothing but passing to private network over a public network. That is a GRE tunnel. So what we can do today, let us go ahead and configure the GRE tunnel. Before that, this is a configuration I have done R1 and R3 are the branch office and the main office router and R2 is a ISP. So I'm going to create a tunnel between main office and the branch office. So before that, let us go ahead and configure the directly connected interfaces. Then we'll configure the GRE tunnel. So let us go to R1. Go to the configuration mode. So interface faster than at 0 by 0, right? So let us go to the corresponding R1. Interface faster than at 0 by 0. IP addresses 192.168.1.1.255.255.0. And let us do a no shut. Similarly, let us go to R2. So R2 has two interfaces faster than at 0 by 0 and 0 by 1, right? So go to the configuration mode, interface faster than at 0 by 0, IP, IP addresses 192.168.1.2, 255.255.255.0, then let us do a no shell. Similar way, it has another interface faster than at 0 by 1, right? So go to faster than at 0 by 1 and let us configure the IP address. IP address is 2.1, let us do a no shell, right? Then what I'm going to do R3. R3 has only one interface faster than at 0 by 1. So go to faster than at 0 by 1 IP addresses 192.168.2.255.255.255.0 and let us do a notion. Right. So we have done the directly connected interfaces. So now let us con check the directly connected interfaces. Then we'll configure the GRE tunnel. So what we can do. I already configured the interfaces show IP interface brief. So the interfaces are up, right? So now what we can do now we can configure the GRE tunnel. After that, we'll perform the routing protocol. We we'll enable the EHRP. So let us go to the configuration mode. How to create? I'm going to tell show IP interface brief. So if you want, we can create a loopback address on R1. Yeah, there is already a low loopback address created 1.1.1. .1 so how to create a tunnel? So between R1 and R3, I am going to create a GRE tunnel. So how to create it? Go to interface tunnel 1, right? Then I have to specify the IP address. This tunnel IP address, I can give any IP address. So let us make it as 192.168.13.1. 255.255.255.0. So if I am assigning 13.1, this is way I can give any IP 13.2 or 13.3 as you wish. So I have assigned it. Then let us do the tunnel source. So which from which source you have to give, right? So the source I'm going to define the loopback address. I already defined the loopback address. So the loopback address loopback one, right? So let us give loopback one. And what about the tunnel destination? So a tunnel destination is let us make it as 3.3.3. .3. So that is a loopback address I define here. So 3.3.3. .3 I have defined. So okay, we are done with the tunnel configuration of R1. Similar way, let us go to R3. R3, check the directly connected interfaces, show IP interface brief and let us check the loopback address. Yeah, so 3.3.3 .3 already have created, right? So now go to the configuration mode, interface, tunnel 1, IP address, any address you can give. So this end I have given 13.1, this is nothing at a virtual tunnel it is you are creating, right? Between R1 and R3. 
so we are just connecting two private networks over a public network so that is the reason i am doing an encapsulation of tunnel so that tunnel is jerry tunnel ip address 192.168.13.3 255.255.255.0 and the tunnel source is nothing but the any address you can give but here i am defining the loopback address i am giving 3.3. i am giving the last loopback one we can give loopback one and the tunnel destination so tunnel destination will give it as 1.1.1 so the tunnel destination is nothing but loopback of r1 right i define so now let us check the interfaces tunnel interface or show ip interface brief So now let us check whether the tunnels are coming up. So till it's still it is showing down, right? So let us now define the protocol and let us check it out. We'll just enable the protocol. So let us do a shotgun approach. So router eGRP 100. I'm just giving network 0.0.0.0. .0 it will define all the connected networks. Do a no auto summary. So this is what we call as a shotgun approach. It will define it will it will just advertise all the networks. And let us go to R2 go to the configuration mode router egrp 100 network 0.0.0.0 .0 no auto summary similar way let us go to r3 go to the configuration mode router egrp 100 network 0.0.0.0 .0 and let us do the no auto summary so now we have to check whether the tunnel interface are coming up so now we are seeing the interface are coming up. Let us check the tunnel is coming up. Show IP interface brief. Yeah, so now you are able to see the interface are coming, right? You are able to see line protocol and tunnel is up. See, the tunnel is up. Let us check in from R3. R3 also you are seeing tunnel is up. You are able to see, right? So now let us ping the tunnel interface 192. 192.168.13.3 is a destination IP. So this IP is a 13.3. So, so this tunnel IP is 192.168.13.3 and this IP is 13.1. So this IP is 13.1. So we are able to successfully create a GRE tunnel. I'm just pinging the remote interface. 13.3 I'm able to ping from R12, this virtual tunnel R3. Let us bring from R3 to R1. So ping 192.168.13.1. I am able to ping. So the successfully we are able to create the tunnel. Check the routing interfaces. Show IP route. Yeah, so now I am able to see all the tunnel address. So all the advertisements including tunnel IP. Right, everything I am able to see. Let us ping the remote tunnel. 3.3.3. Loopback address I am able to do. And ping 192.168.2.1 and 2.2. .2. So I'm able to ping from both the ways and also I'm able to reach both the tunnels, right? So 192.168.13.1 I'm able to reach ping the loopback address of R1. So I'm able to reach from both the end. So this is how we can create the GRE tunnel. So GRE tunnel is nothing but a generic routing encapsulation used for encapsulating IP in IP or also we can use a non-IP over an IP. This is IP over an IP, right? So all these are IP protocols. So even we can connect it, assume this R1 is an Apple Talk protocol and R3 is Apple Talk and this is an ISP and is an IP. So that means still we can use an, a non-IP protocol over an IP protocol. So that is also possible. And tunneling another advantage is even we can use IP6 over an IP4, right? So assume R1 and R3 are the IPv6 client and this is an IP4 network. Since still I can encapsulate, an, uh, encapsulate IPv6 in IPv4. So that option is also possible with GRE tunnel. So only disadvantage is it will go unencrypted. That means the data passing through this tunnel will be unencrypted. So still if I want to secure the traffic, I can use SSL or a IPsec to secure this GRE tunnel. That is the only disadvantage of GRE tunnel. So there, there are several advantages. It can encrypt. It is used to encapsulate multiple protocols. I can use IP, non-IP. And it is also used to encapsulate multicast traffic also, right? So these are the advantages of GRE tunnel. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thanks and have a wonderful day.